sometimes even a sea turtle needs to go to the doctor when they aren't feeling well. Fortunately, there are amazing veterinarians, technicians, biologists, and other staff members who are ready to care for our hard-shelled ocean friends. When a sea turtle is sick or injured, they are often found floating at the surface of the water or washed up on the beach. Some common signs that they are unwell include lots of barnacles and algae on their shell or obvious injuries to their flippers or shell. They may also be very weak. A healthy sea turtle will normally swim away from you if you get too close. If you find a sea turtle that you think might be sick or injured, the best thing to do is call your state wildlife agency or local wildlife group or a sea turtle hospital. They will instruct you on what to do and how to get the sea turtle to a place where it can be evaluated. Once the sea turtle has been brought to a sea turtle hospital or facility, the rehabilitation process begins with a thorough examination to determine the extent of the turtle's injuries or illness. The turtle will be weighed and measured, just like you might be during a doctor checkup. Care staff will also listen to its heartbeat, take any necessary x-rays or blood work, and examine the turtle's shell and body. Some of the most common reasons sea turtles are brought in for care include entanglements in fishing nets, injuries caused by boat strikes, and ingestion of plastic debris, sudden weather changes that cause ocean temperatures to drop below 50 degrees Fahrenheit cause cold stunning of sea turtles. Sea turtles do not regulate their own body temperature, so they are very susceptible to cold that makes it harder for them to swim. Entanglement in fishing nets can cause serious injuries to a sea turtle's flippers, also making it difficult for them to swim and hunt for food. Boat strikes can also cause severe injuries such as shell fractures and internal trauma. Ingestion of plastic debris can be deadly for sea turtles as it can cause blockages to their digestive system and prevent them from eating. Once the injuries and illnesses have been identified, the rehabilitation process begins. This can include surgeries to repair injuries, medication to treat infections, and a specialized diet to ensure the sea turtle receives the nutrient it needs to heal. While in the hospital, the sea turtles are kept in large tanks where they can swim and exercise. This helps to build up their strength and allows them to practice swimming and hunting for food. When the sea turtles are deemed healthy and strong enough, they are released back into the ocean. One of the most rewarding moments is watching a sea turtle return to their home and swim off into the ocean. The work done at sea turtle hospitals, beaches, boats, and facilities around the world is crucial for the survival of these incredible creatures. By rehabilitating injured and sick sea turtles, we can help ensure that they continue to thrive in their natural habitat for years to come. Stay tuned this week for additional episodes of Sea Turtle Week, the mini-series, to learn more about sea turtles and how we can all work together to protect them.